Good evening, I'm Jo Hall. There are claims tonight many of Australia's elite athletes may be using performance enhancing drugs. Federal police are investigating reports that some have illegally obtained a human growth hormone. The AIS has rejected the accusations. It's a very serious slur on all athletes and AIS athletes in particular, uh, which is unsubstantiated and shouldn't be accepted. The federal government will push ahead with a full sell-off of Telstra if an independent inquiry finds service standards acceptable. Communications Minister Senator Richard Alston launched the probe today. The important thing out of all this is that it will provide an opportunity for consumers and customers and their representatives to uh, tell it as it is. Hundreds of people have welcomed the Queen as she attended a morning church service in Canberra. The size of today's crowd at her first official engagement surprised both police and royal officials. Two bodies have been found in central Victoria where two duck hunters were reported missing after a boat overturned yesterday morning. The mishap on the Cairn Curran Reservoir near Castlemaine also claimed the life of a six-year-old boy. There are allegations today of police brutality after scuffles broke out during yesterday's protest in Sydney over public transport. More than a thousand people tried to blockade the eastern distributor. Police and demonstrators were injured. In sport, Mark Philippoussis has lost a tenth semi-final clash against Sweden's Thomas Enquist at Indian Wells. After coming back in the second to level at one set apiece, the scud fell in the deciding third set tiebreak. In golf, Kari Webb shares a two-shot lead with the Swedish Sorensen sisters after the third round of the LPGA event in Phoenix. Now to tomorrow's weather for the nation. A possible storm in Sydney, partly cloudy in Melbourne. Fine conditions in Adelaide and Hobart, while it will be wet in the other capitals. And that's all from the newsroom for now. Good night. This program proudly brought to you by OzStar's Mammoth March Savings.